Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this tree frog uploaded by Morena P. First things first, we go down to developer notes to see if they have any specifications. And they say that you should be able to print this with any layer height, aka lower settings. And I believe they also said that you shouldn't need any supports somewhere in here. Maybe not, but uh, I said not too much information, but that's more than fine. We can figure all that out on our own. So once you're ready, click on the download all files up here. And you should get a folder similar to this. Now you have one STL, nice and simple. So all you have to do is click and drag on the STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to render in. Once it's finished loading in, you should see this little cute frog. So taking this step by step, we're gonna select the layer height. Any layer height will do if you want a higher detail frog then select a smaller layer height like 0.12 or 0.16. But I'm going to print it at 0.12 millimeters, I'm sorry, 0.2 millimeters, which is the standard quality. If this pops up, click on the discard button. Next, we're gonna go down to the supports. This model does not need any supports, even though there is some red here, meaning there are some overhangs. More than likely, considering it's this small, you shouldn't need any supports. So we're going to leave this off. This model also was intended to be a calibration test. So, uh, also a benchmark, so that can definitely show you how good your printer is. So no supports. Build plate adhesion, you should be more than fine. There's a quite a bit of contact area at the very bottom, so no need for any build plate adhesion. And lastly, there is uh, nothing else you need to do. So all I have to do now is click on the blue slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. And once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 56 minutes, but that will depend on the printer you are using as well as the settings you selected. And the estimated filament usage of only six grams. Now we always preview the print and take a look around the model, see if anything weird or funky is going on. And everything looks perfectly normal, so save the file and send it over to your printer. Here's the frog straight off the print bed. Came out pretty good and has no defects whatsoever. All features are clearly visible and it is now ready for painting if you so desire. It's definitely a quick and easy print and I do recommend it for anybody who wants a little tree frog.